In this CCT Learning Space Guide, I've shown you how to download Zotero and also how to create bibliographies and reference lists drawing upon sources from EBSCO, library catalogues and other sources. But another wonderful feature of Zotero is that you can also use it to create in-text citations using standardised referencing formats. So I'm actually in a Word document now and you can see that at the top of the screen there is a Zotero prompt. That's because when you download Zotero, it automatically integrates into your Word installation. So if I click on Zotero, you'll see that I then get the option to add edit citation. So if I click on add edit citation, I'm actually given the option then to select a referencing style. Your referencing style should be the same as the referencing style that you're going to use for your bibliography or your reference list at the end of your assignment. You have a choice of many referencing styles, there's APA, Chicago, etc. I'm going to choose Harvard. You can always check with your lecturer to find out what is the uh, required referencing format. So I'm going to click on Harvard and I can actually start uh, typing my assignment. So perhaps I'm doing something on data visualization and I'm writing about how it's beneficial for organizations, etc. And then I might want to say according to an author and it's at this point that I can add edit citation. I can go and check the references I've stored in my library, in my uh, Zotero installation. And perhaps I want to make a point from the um, this book here, the Dashfight Society. So I'm going to select that by Van S. It's a van with a small V in this instance. And it's Van S at Al. And you can see that it's generated the reference, the in-text reference in Harvard style. And I just press select and it appears at the top here. Now normally it will appear on the same line. It has the odd moment where this doesn't happen, but I just simply copy paste this and move this into place. So perhaps I want to do a quote and I might say something like, it is stated that, and I take a quote from something. And perhaps I want to quote from a journal article. And again, I press add edit. I'm going to keep it in Harvard. And I look up my references and apologies I don't want that one it's a little quick there let's go again data and I maybe want this article by Pradana and Al it's in the journal behavior and information technology and perhaps I'm taking a quote from page 89 so I select that and if I click on Pradana I can actually add the page so you can see the page has appeared and I just press enter and the in-text citation has appeared it's really, really helpful, actually, because you can see that this has generated an in-text citation for a book with three authors. You don't have to worry about, you know, what do I do with a book that has four authors or two authors or an editor. Um, the Zotero tool will take care of all of that for you. So it's a really useful, powerful feature that will save you a lot of time. You will notice that there are many guides on the internet and also on YouTube to using Zotero to improve academic writing. And it's not hard to see why these uh, guides exist. Um, by using the correct in-text citation, it automatically makes your work more polished. Uh, you're evidencing that you're conducting your research with integrity um, because you're evidencing the sources that you're using. And uh, it just gives a, a, an overall more polished feel do check out the useful resources section of this learning space guide where I have included other useful um, guides and, and videos. Again, if you have any queries, please don't hesitate to contact Justin in the library or myself, Marie, Head of Enhancement here at CCT, and we're delighted to answer your questions. Thank you.